Welcome to Kilco. Well, Kilco Whiskey Musings. I used to say that. My name is Brian, and happy St. Patrick's Day because it's an excuse to drink early in the morning during the day. Whatever. Please drink responsibly. That's what that is. I'm starting. Well, actually, I started off. Let's see. Three, four hours ago. Gosh. I was a guest on the Rock Cut Review briefly. And I say that it was probably like two hours. And uh, I had at least two or three drinks there. I had a Guinness and at least two whiskeys. The dangerous part is it starts to get to where you're you're not sure how much you had to drink. But since then, I've had a sandwich, which helped tremendously. I am now having a coffee with some Baileys in it, which is technically not an Irish coffee, but, you know, whatever. Whiskey knows. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Welcome. I didn't plan this, for the record. This was just, it literally was impromptu. I was thinking about it. You know, after I started doing the whiskey review videos for Irish whiskeys on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, that one came out earlier today. It was one of those moments where it's like, I could do one on Wednesday, but is everyone going to do a stream on Wednesday? <sighs> Wasn't sure. Again, when you don't plan anything, you're never sure who's going to show up or if anyone will show up, and that's kind of terrifying. And it's daytime. It always feels weird. I'm still going to have to get used to that. We have actual daylight coming from this direction. It burns. It's fine. But I am now enjoying my Irish coffee. Let me know if you're enjoying any whiskey of any sort. It can be Irish. It can be not Irish. I have three different Irish whiskeys I'm going to try to get through the next two hours-ish, depending on how long I can manage, depending on how many people show up, that kind of thing. I don't even know if I'll last an hour. And my parents wanted to stop by. I don't know if they're going to do that. I think, I think they got the messages that I was going to be streaming, but I'm not sure. Here's Miss Questions. Glad you liked it. I mean, I was certainly surprised by the red breast cast strength being what it was. Red breast fell cast strength. Because, again, I, I thought it was different. It's the basics. When I fondly remember my red breast fell cast strength, it was very different than the one I had recently, which I still have. It's actually on the floor, unfortunately, because full, full of whiskey. Have no more room. There are numerous bottles on the floor, and it's a wonderful problem to have, but I have to I have to address that at some point. I don't like having whiskey bottles on the floor. It makes me feel bad. I don't know why. Jameson Stout Edition. Ooh, a favorite. I've reviewed that, I think. Pretty sure I reviewed that a while ago. Of course, I don't remember when. But I have reviewed it, and I did like it. I tried uh, the IPA and the stout, and I preferred the stout, unsurprisingly. I mean, it's just good. I had Jameson earlier today, actually. A little nip slash sample size bottle of it. What is going on here? Discord is making noise at me. Ah. <whistles> distracted by other things on my computer it happens all the time. That's why I have two screens, because I'm that distractible. Mm. Steve A, welcome. I saw you were here earlier, but I hate to jump the gun. I was like, he's still here, right? Ugh. Yeah. I didn't hate the IPA, but if I had to choose, which technically I don't, I would always get the stout. I like stouts anyway. I had a Guinness earlier today. That was nice. Although I'm not sure if that's a stout. I think it is. I assume it is. There's another one called, is that port? I'm no good about beers. I don't know a lot about beers. Bourbon, welcome. Yeah, big mustache detected. Yeah, something like that. As I keep saying on these streams, someday I'll get it fancified and professionally done. There is a barbershop nearby that can do that. But uh, as I've said, I wear a mask everywhere I go. So there's really no point in doing that right now. Well. I just assume everyone's stepping away for a minute. That helps. 
don't know where to start. I guess I should start with, well, here's the problem. I have this to finish, and this is quite a bit of coffee, because I have to keep myself going for the next two hours at least. And admittedly, drinking on the Rocket Review for a little bit was a little draining. I, I keep forgetting that I'm easily drained by socialization of any sort. Being on stream is just, oh, I can, I can take takes something out of you. I don't, I don't, it's surprising what it can do. Mm. Part of me even wanted to joke because it is, of course, St. Patrick's Day. I was tempted to be like, hey, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm going to try all these bourbons I have <laughs> just for giggles. I didn't. Because we got we to gotta get the views and the subs and stuff. Granted, I can drink whatever I want. That is the fact. And I'm wearing my tri shirt because Irish. And if you don't know what the shirt is, it's the tri channel where a bunch of Irish people try a bunch of things. Thus, tri. I like their, their drinking videos are the most popular, unsurprisingly. Yeah, drink rice. Got a green label. Oh my gosh. Middleton, very rare. You know how it's very rare? Because it says so on the bottle. I've never had Middleton. At least, I don't think I've had Middleton. I'm finding in my whiskey adventure journey life YouTube thing, there's quite a few different distilleries in Ireland, but a lot of them are just interconnected, kind of like with bourbons. You know, there's there's a lot of different bourbons out there, and many of them have MGP roots occasionally. I know with Irish whiskey, uh, J I say Jameson, but I know that's like the wrong word. There's a big old distillery that produces a bunch of different Irish whiskey. But I'm having, tri um, is it Middleton? Is that why I'm thinking about it? My brain no worky. Yes. Hmm. Now that I have to... Okay. I figured it was Middleton that I was mulling over that does a lot of stuff, but I couldn't remember. <laughs> Because I think there's like a, I have, I have this story in my head that's, that's the um, James, or not James, Whiskey History, which I've mentioned before on this channel. I watched, watched, I listened to on Spotify at one point. It's like a storytelling history thing about Irish whiskey, and it was interesting. And the main, the main thing I can remember, can recall, remember, is that ages ago we're talking probably 800s just before automobiles were popular three irish distillery owners came together to save irish whiskey and i think one was powers jameson and Minish. there was another maybe middleton i can't remember jameson redbreast spots middleton powers yes yeah, the MGP of Ireland, basically. I remember one that I found funny. I think they put... This is just something I heard, so you know it's true. It was... They pitted Jameson against Powers as like a brand rival, but it's the same company that produces it, so... Win-win, I guess. Also, I don't know if that's true. Just something I think I heard somewhere. I don't know where I get my information. A lot of stuff goes through this brain, and a lot of stuff doesn't stay there. That's always fun. Now it's bothering me as to what those three distilleries were. I'm guessing Middleton had to be the other one. So Middleton, Jameson, Powers. Maybe? Blah. Bushmills joined, yes. Cork, Jameson, and Powers. There we go. It was Cork. Bam. That doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Good grief. Could have been yesterday. In Bushmills. Yeah, it's the... the 
as I said on um, the Rock Gut channel, there was a point in time where Irish history, Irish history, when bleh, words, there was a point in time when Irish whiskey could have just disappeared. And that would have been sad. Sexton compared to other Irishes. Watch the review. No, it's actually kind of fruity, uh, which is kind of threw me off at first. I didn't know what to expect with it because, again, it's this ooh, peculiar little bottle, you know. And I had had the Finding 69th and the what was the other one? Teeling, which was very strange. But I'm equating that to it just being the first four. I'm looking forward to going back to it again. The teeling did not come across as I had expected it to. Also, welcome, Mash Bill. Good to see you. Looking forward to your stream later today, if I can make it. Because <sighs> I'm starting to worry. It's like, well, does St. Patrick say it? You'll definitely make it till later tonight. Maybe. I have to pace myself. That's the idea. That's why we have coffee at the moment. Coffee with Bailey's in it. No Irish whiskey in it yet. I have Irish whiskey to be poured into my Glencairn here, which I think still has some water in it, because that's how we roll, at least at the moment. I thought about doing a flight as well, because I do have a number of different Irish whiskeys I to try, but I think it would be safer if I did what Ed was doing and just have a little pour of each, very little pour of each, so I can have a couple sips. I know everything's going to taste a little weird, because, again, coffee before Irish whiskey. I don't know what that's going to do, even if I do rinse my mouth out. I am curious to find out, if nothing else. And it should be lovely, hopefully. Take out. No, man. Well, don't get distracted while driving, because I'd feel horrible if you got in an accident. <laughs> huh. I've done that a few times, though. Who have I done that for? Was it Aquavite? Yeah. I think one time when I was driving home from somewhere, since Roy goes live at 4.45 p.m. my time, I was driving home and I had, I had my phone up. I wasn't actually watching it, but I put on his YouTube channel and just had it going over the speakers because, hey, Roy is just nice to listen to, if nothing else. It's the way he talks. It's glorious. You just want to hear every word he has to say. I'm not sure if that's a very good impression. It might be. I. <laughs> I know that's a good impression. I. Lovely. Wonderful. Yeah. All moved in. Doing stuff. Time for whiskey. It's always time for whiskey. No, it's not always time for whiskey. When you're about to drive 10 hours, it's not a good time for whiskey. When you go to work, it's probably not the best time for whiskey. When you're going to sleep? Hot toddy, maybe. I think if you how you're feeling, who knows? Thankfully, I haven't had a hot toddy in quite a while. I always I always compare hot toddies for when you're not feeling well, which is strange because I know that drinking alcohol when you're sick is probably a bad idea. It's fine. This is, this is the day to drink, not in excess. That's not helpful. Uh, as I have said on this channel before and on these streams before, drinking too much has never really been. A good thing for me it's just mostly because of my mental health issues and my emotional state can kind of go very quickly and it especially does if you drink too much because inhibitions go away and suddenly you're very angry all the time or very sad or, you know it depends you, you go to the extremes very quickly i don't like doing that so if my brain starts to feel a little fuzzy i usually back off very quickly Too many times in my youth that alcohol got me in trouble. Never got arrested, thankfully. Good on you. But, uh, yeah. And that was, of course, before I actually got into whiskey itself. That was when alcohol was just drank a lot quickly. Usually. I think I used to drink a lot of twisted tea. Which says something. Or cider. Maybe not beer as much. Beer is okay, but it's not my go-to by any means. Whatever. Let me know what kind of beer you'd have today. Don't say green beer because 
that's the easy route. But I know Guinness is my preferred beer right now, of course. It's very easy to drink, honestly. And what else? Other than the blueberry beer from a local distillery, I can't think of anything. Because, again, I don't drink beer that often anymore. For obvious reasons. <laughs> I have plenty of other things to drink right now, let alone having a beer. Make sure I'm not missing anything in chat. It's always fun. What sucks is that, well, hmm, I don't want to say what sucks, but what is certainly different about the past year is how this holiday is being celebrated. Because it used to be parade, bars, the usual, oh, and eating out at restaurants and having the corned beef and cabbage kind of stuff. Well, that was weird. Eh, probably not, unless you're in bed. Again, don't drink and drive. That shouldn't, that shouldn't need to be said, but eh. why not? Covering my base here. I don't want to be a, uh, what's the word? Not a, is it an instigator? Something like that. I don't like to encourage excess drinking, because I did too much of it, and it never turned out very well, so... Like, I don't do bottle chugs or anything like that because that throws things off. And there's no, I'd like to have a certain amount that is being rationed. Oh, I didn't do the thing again. God dang it. One of these days, I'm going to be a professional streamer and not forget to do certain things. Today is not that day. Today is not the day because it is a day of just doing whatever, especially on stream. Mostly it's just to drink stuff. Obligatory St. Patrick's Day stream, as I said. I feel it's it's one of those whiskey tube things, I suppose. You almost feel like you're supposed to do a video or a stream. I did a video, but to do a stream feels like you have to do it because holiday and drinking and whiskey. You feel pressured. But here's the thing. Once I went on uh, Rock Gut stream... I was hanging out, just drinking and chatting for a little bit. It was like, ah, this isn't so bad. I can do this today. I usually do two streams a week as it is. Just throw it in three. It's fine. I'm sure the alcohol had nothing to do with that feeling whatsoever. I'm trying to do two things at once. Oh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sure all of you have done that already. I hate. I don't hate saying it. I don't like feeling obligated to say it, I think is the one thing. That's especially why when you watch my videos, it doesn't say anything about liking or subscribing until the very end. And then it's just, no one's probably there. I have been, I've considered saying it at the uh, beginning, but whenever people do that in videos, it annoys me. So I haven't thought about it. We'll see. I've gotten more and more critical of videos on YouTube and how they're made. Mine are not, but how do I put this? They're fairly easy to edit because it's pretty much just one thing. I just do it all the way through and pick and choose what parts I like. But with other videos that are a little more advanced, honestly, is it's, you know, sometimes I'm like, get to the point. So I've thought about getting rid of like the cork part where I, Un take off the cork, you know, unscrew the top, but or unscrew, pop off the top. Like on today's video, where I had a little bit of trouble taking that foil stuff off the top, that was amusing, I suppose. I thought it was amusing. Do that. Where's the thing? Where's the thing? I'm getting a backwards delay today. Unless that's not, there we go. I have the uh, YouTube chat up over here and StreamYard right here. That's why I keep looking down instead of straight at the camera. But doing that was, there was a backwards delay. Usually the YouTube chat is faster than the StreamYard. And since I put that comment in the StreamYard, it took a second to go over to the YouTube. You now the internet's weird. And we have to do the thing at the bottom because reasons, there we go. 
it was nice to talk to Ed about uh, Ed from Rocket Review about the weirdness with being monetized. That's one of the things I kind of dread. But he did he didn't encourage me. But he mentioned how Patreon's a little safer in some way. And as much as I like the idea of people willingly giving me money every oh <laughs> that's the thing, Mr. Whiskey Shits. It's I haven't quite figured out how to use Venmo. I'm trying to like find a link. You know, that's usually what I'm used to. But it's like an at. It's like Twitter, I think. I was actually looking this up earlier. Like right before I went on live, I was like, oh, typing frantically trying to find how do you post a link for Venmo. And it just doesn't. It's either the uh, barcode thing that comes up. And I haven't used my new at yet, so I'm terrified that it won't work because I don't want you sending money to someone who isn't me. That would be a bit weird. I mean, granted, if you see the picture... Oh, that's the other thing. If you see the picture that's on Venmo, it's me, but without this <laughs> from like two years ago. I might have to update that at some point. All right. Let's see if I can do this. If anyone wants to send like two cents or a penny or a dollar to this to make sure it works. Help. All right, here we go. I'll put it in the scroller. I was going to post it on the thing. Hide, edit. Now I have to put in more words. PayPal and Venmo. That paste this. Ah, oh, professional. There we go. Let's see if that works. At Kilco. I hope that's it. Because again, I'm not used to using Venmo, and it kind of tweaks me out that I can't just use a link. I've gotten far too used to using links, so when I can't use one, it's just freaks me out. Irish coffee, technically. Not really. We went over this in Ed's stream. We were trying to figure out what is actually an Irish coffee, and some people are saying it's Irish whiskey. Some people are saying it's Bailey's. Some people are saying you need some kind of cream on the top, like whipped cream or something. I know that with, if anyone who watches my Instagram knows that I was trying to put Bailey's in my Irish cream cold brew this morning, and it just stayed on top. It wasn't quite, I think, I thought it was the whipped cream or the cream stuff that they put on there. But there was also ice. So it just didn't quite go through. It was a little weird. I did add some, but only a smidge compared to that 24 ounces that I had there. Glorious stuff. Starbucks always gets stuff out of me. The sons of Bramish. Ha! Nice. Thirty-three cents. Thank you. It worked. I'm actually surprised because that is a bit unreal. That feels so sketchy, <laughs> I guess. That's what bothers me. It's like it's just at. Just at and a name. And you hope it's you. But it did work. So thank you for helping me test that. Because I was not sure it would work. Because, again, I'm not used to Venmo. But I guess it's just that simple. I guess I think that's what it is. Venmo is a little too simple. Well, at least with PayPal, there's a little big old link you have to use. Oh. Oh, and it's something you can click on. That's what it is. Like if I put the uh, PayPal pinned at the top, people can just click on it and it takes you there. Venmo, I don't think, works so much like that. That would just... That's the problem I'm having, I guess, is that I can post my... I can post my words PayPal as a link, and I can't do that with Venmo. I just have to have it down here. Or I can put it in the description because I guess if you have the Venmo account it's easy enough you'd think ah technology Whoa. Miss Gorski says thank you for helping me test that I appreciate it yeah, that, that is one of those things that I can now attempt to remove from my anxiety it'll happen eventually not yet soon 
But I will start to add that in the description uh, soon. Let me real time trying to figure out your stuff. Blech. Actually, I have a document with all of that, so I don't have to type it in every time. Yeah. PayPal. That's that didn't want to work. Let me know if anyone's doing anything tonight. I know it's you know St. Patrick's Day, and I don't know what people are doing though, other than probably watching whiskey streams. I know, you know, I used to be able to do this easily, but I can't remember. The Mash and Drum is doing something like this evening with Whiskey Crusaders, but I know. What else? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like someone else should be going on too. That's the other problem I'm having. Is I keep thinking another person's going to be streaming. I know the Mash Bill is streaming late tonight, but it feels like something is missing. I don't know why. I had a, I, my main concern was that a whole bunch of people would be streaming right now, and that's not happening. I know I was glad to see Ed stream earlier. Because that was good. I keep forgetting I, my voice is even getting tired. Because <clears throat> I actually was on a stream earlier. Having conversations with people. Go we'll figure. I feel like I'm slouching. Am I slouching? Oh, it's a little better, I guess. I should just sit like this. Not a good idea. There we go. All right, saving the document. We have the at Venmo. We're good. I have to try and try and get the moolah, as they say. Because Kilka runs on your support. Ow. But yes, that was I talking about. Grief. I'm just gonna wish thank you. Woot. I'm glad that worked. I appreciate that. Any amount helps. Like, if you just sent the 33 cents, I would have been cool with that. But sending more is always awesome. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And yours. Slantra and such. Slantra? Slantra? Slantra. Hmm. Update on the young neighbors. Twice in two days. That was interesting. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. The joys of having thin walls. Is funny. What's really amusing in the 10 years I've lived here, there's been very little noise up until recently, like the past three years. As in, I don't know what they did. I don't know what the walls are broken or what. For those of you who have followed me for a while, which I don't know how many of you have, about one year ago, yeah, right before everything got crazy, my <laughs> there was water damage to my apartment building because I think a pipe burst on the third floor above me. Thankfully, my side was okay. I just got a little water on the walls and some drippings. It wasn't major, but yeah, that was that was a thrill to have that happen. And the young girl who did live next door at the time, her place got trashed. She's not there anymore. Someone else moved in not long after that. There was a lot of noise, but... Now it's a young couple and a little dog. Thankfully, the dog is quiet. That's all I ever care about. All I ever care about. And right now, the crazy lady next door is making noise. So that's nice. Oh. I was going on a rant. Where's the rant gone? Hold on. Money. There we go. That's why the Venmo thing came up. When I was talking to Ed briefly about getting monetized and stuff like that, still is... How do I phrase this so it doesn't sound terrible in my brain? The concept of getting a thousand subscribers to me is unrealistic, honestly. It's a possibility because I already have more subscribers than I ever thought I would. So there's that. <laughs> I even told my, my good friend who I've known for, boom, have I known him 20 years? Probably known him more than 20 years now that I think about it. I've known him since like 1995, 96. 
possibly 94. But uh, I told him about this YouTube channel and the success it's having getting free whiskey and samples and stuff. And he was shocked. No, he wasn't shocked. But he was uh, surprised and pleased. Because, again, that's, that's living the dream, kind of, when people are just sending you stuff for free and sending you money. It's, it's unreal. I can't process that kind of a good fortune. And my brain, of course, is convinced that it's all just, just a fluke somehow. Something's gone wrong. This can't be real. But it is. But it is. Like, the amount of samples I order is ridiculous. And there's some over there. I still have my Jack Daniel samples to do. I'm wondering when I'm going to do that. Maybe Friday? Maybe Sunday? I'd have to sing. It's the match bills fall right there. The stars out tonight. I could sing a St. Patrick's Day song, but there's only one I know, and it's not a happy one. Even that, I'm not 100% sure on the lyrics. That's a Danny boy. And I had to sing that at a funeral. So... Not fond memories, unfortunately. Good song, not fond memories. I did sing a song uh, called Irish Whiskey, I think, that Daniel Whittington did. Was it called Irish Whiskey? It's like a video I put out two years ago, a year and a half ago. I cannot remember. There's the Tennessee Whiskey song. Everyone knows that. Your ass moves, Tennessee Whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry white. You're as, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that whole part. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a glass of brandy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't even know all the lyrics. That's the problem with songs, is I know some lyrics for some songs, but they come and go. Like, once I start singing a song, it just rolls for a while, and it's fine. But as soon as I start thinking about the lyrics, it just goes right off the rails. It's like, oh, gosh, what are the lyrics? Panic! Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Well, I, well, I have to admit, this is what I am doing for St. Patrick's Day. This was my excuse to do something. Because I haven't done anything you know, this year or in last year. Granted... Not a huge social person, so I don't usually go to bars for things like today. I don't remember the last time I did anything. And there's also the St. Patrick's Day Parade that is fairly popular in this area. Haven't had to deal with it in the past two years, unfortunately. Or past year, I should say. Because it was last year we didn't have one. This year we didn't have one. Nah. Damn reality. Curses. Curses to real life. But it's fine. I don't mind. Nothing cheap. Oh, crap, I spoke too soon. Nothing changes for me. Thankfully. Noisy. But I don't know what everyone else is doing. That's the real kicker. Like, what else are people doing on St. Patrick's Day? Other than drinking alone at home or drinking with family and friends? Drinking with dinner? It's been a little weird. A little weird. All right, we're almost done with the coffee. Or the Irish coffee. Can't. I can't. Mm. It's good, but it's also coffee, which is bitter. Bitter. Of course, this is bittersweet. Steve, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty much what I plan to do. I was watching Ed's stream, and it was nice to chit chat. I got to talk with Weddle and Jeff. It's lovely. You talk about a lot of things. I'm trying to remember what we were talking about, but since that was, you know, three hours ago, my brain's already forgotten. I guess I can watch the <laughs> I can watch the stream again. <clears throat> Feels a little weird to watch a stream that you're on. I think that's the one problem I have with my own thing. Like I'm fine watching other people's streams as long as I'm not on them, but once I am, it's like, oh, I can't watch that. I was I was on there. I can't. You're watching it in real time, technically. So, we're... Does anyone have corned beef and cabbage? That's popular at this time of year. I think my parents have something like that tonight. They do that thing. 
I have no desire to eat corned beef or cabbage. And I am of Irish descent, so there's that. I don't like. I don't think I like. I have a feeling every... I think St. Patrick's Day is one of those things where not only do they ramp up Irish whiskey, especially, but people need to be reminded once a year that corned beef and cabbage is not the best thing. It's nice, you know, it's decent. But I often wonder about, well, what do they actually eat in Ireland, you know? So I want to eat that probably, and I have a feeling it's not corned beef and cabbage anymore. Maybe at one point in time it is, but I really don't think it is anymore. Pretty sure it isn't. Ha! Whoa! Ooh, what, is it about, what is it about the end of your coffee that always tastes a little weird? I say. I have to say, it feels weird to do a stream on a Wednesday. I know. The funny thing is I have a little bit of a memory about who goes live on what day. And I've realized that there is basically a whiskey stream every single day of every single week. So we're talking Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So there's a reason to drink every night. Oh, yeah. Jim, welcome. Have you been here? God, I can't even keep track. I hope you get to get home soon. I haven't seen you. Okay, it's the first time I saw you type, I think. But yeah, what are you going to pour? What will be the first dram of the evening? Will it be bourbon? Will it be Irish? Scotch? Japanese? I wanted to go over a few of the ones I've had over the past four or five days. There you go. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I say don't. For any stream I go on, I do, there's part of me that just says, don't give me any responsibility. I don't know. I don't want to feel like I need to be there. I'd rather just be there casually. And oftentimes, as I have... Have I said this before? Oftentimes, I am watching a stream on one screen and playing a game on another. So I'm listening more than I'm watching because I like playing games, especially right now. I've been sucked into the Division Two over the past month three weeks something like that feels like i've been watching whiskey videos and looking up stuff about the division two on youtube and that's it because because why oh yeah builds that kind of thing stuff i could talk about here but everyone would be like what the hell are they talking about let's just say the game i'm playing is distracting raider nation Charles. oh welcome a first timer well you're in for a surprise no you're not <laughs> We just sip whiskey and talk whiskey and do things. That's what I do. Shh, welcome. Oh, that hurts. I'm going to pour my first whiskey of the evening. Actually, I'll ask you guys, which should I pour first? I'll give you all the options. I only have three that I was thinking of, but I will give you all of them. We have the Sexton, the Fighting 69, Tullamore Dew, Teeling, Red Breast 12, Red Breast Cast Strength. I'd run out of fingers. And Connemara. If you can remember everything I just said, we'll see what gets the vote. We'll see who's paying attention. What we got here? Yes. 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 I mean, thankfully, thankfully at the moment, I don't have to give any kind of responsibility to moderators other than if someone's being an ass, get it. That happened. <coughs> it hasn't happened yet, thankfully. Everyone who comes in here is nice and polite and well-mannered and not crazy. Red breast cast drink, I'm assuming. That means Raider Nation. Because if so, I like you already. If I don't see anything else, in five seconds... That's competition. What if I mix them together? I don't think it'll do anything because they're both the same thing, kind of. But I'll pour whatever wins the vote. I'm going to drink them all, probably. No, I'm not. I'm not going to drink them all. I just realized how many list I listed off there, and my body went, don't you dare. 
Don't you dare. How about I start with... Yeah, trying to think. I also have to remember, I'm not going to pour much. Oh, well, there you go. That's what I did a video about today. If you're new and you haven't seen any of the videos, well, <laughs> you can look at a few of them. And if you like them, like, subscribe, and all that. Because I'm, I'm assuming a first timer wouldn't have done that yet. But I don't know. As I, as I like to say, the YouTube overlords demand your thumbs. Take all the things. All of it. There you go. I don't know if I'm going to say one-to-one. -one. I'm going to eyeball it. And it's going to be... <laughs> I, have to, I have to pace myself for the evening because if you're new here, you might have gone to other streamers who do whiskey stuff. And there are quite a few out there. But uh, as, as tonight is St. Patrick's Day night, I felt weird to say, as it's St. Patrick's Day, there will be much drinking today. Anthony, welcome. Ouch. All right, let's see. Ooh. Zero Red Breast 12. Huh? This is how I make the video clips right here. I just hold that up and try to get it to focus. You have no idea how hard that is. Anthony, welcome. Oh, there's the monster next door. The troll beast has returned. Yeah. If nothing else, people love that noise. I know I do. Just a smidge. For one, I know I won't be able to get St. Uh, Patrick's. I won't be able to get red breast easily for a while. Unless people are crazy and decide to donate bottles, which hasn't happened yet. I've gotten an abundance of bottles. Keep that in mind. I have so many bottles. It's amazing. Now, whoops. I'm at the point where, well, actually, I've been at the point for a while where I realized it would take me. I did the math on one of the streams because I was curious. And I think I estimated each bottle. So let's say, was it 750 milliliters? I did the math, kind of, sort of. I'm bad at math. But it would have taken me, it would take me, what? If I did a two ounce pour of all these bottles, months. Straight up months to drink them all, if I just did that constantly. And I forget if I did a time frame. I feel like it didn't. Maybe it was two ounces per hour? That doesn't feel right. It feels like it should be longer. I got Tennessee whiskey stuck in my head now. Damn it. Oh, man, welcome. Huh. That's funny. Well, not, not funny, funny, but, well, oh, here's, oh, gosh, the legend, no-nonsense whiskey. I hear you have a lot of subscribers. Could you let me borrow a 1,000? This is a joke. You got 10, 10K celebration coming up, end of the month. There's a date, but I forget what it is. And Aqua Vitae slash Roy will be there. I'm paying attention. I know things. Welcome to the show. Wait, it's got to be late over there, doesn't it? Right? It's got to be late over there. I have no idea what time it is over there, but it's late. Oh. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you. I assume they do that over there. I have no idea. I'm very confused. A little bit of this. Hey. 31st. Okay. I thought it was the 30th, so I didn't say anything, but 31st. I need to have Roy and you on my stream someday when I actually start having guests because right now that thought terrifies me. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm okay being a guest on other people's streams, but the idea of other people coming to my stream is slightly terrifying. And again, I don't know why. Yeah. Huh. Hang on. My brain. You're telling me the time, and I know what it is, but my brain doesn't want to work. 
That sounds right in my head, but I'm not sure. I so smart. I, I would be the one derailing the stream, because as soon as I start talking about mental health, I get freaked out, because it's always weird to tell people, yes, I have issues, and I haven't worked for 10 years. People love hearing that. Okay, good. That is one of the things I've tried to do in my life, is try to keep in mind what, um, I guess it's military hours for me, what that time is. And I think it's also, what was it? I think just military time in general is the only reason I thought about doing that in my head. I couldn't do that on my watch. That would drive me nuts. But I try to keep it in my mind somehow. Same with uh, how I did uh, Celsius. Like you'll see Celsius on my phone instead of Fahrenheit because blast me. No, because, um, because if I ever traveled to other parts of the world, that's what it would be. It'd be kind of hard to be like, what is it in Fahrenheit? You know? And everyone would just look at you going, you're American, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I always like having something. I like having a curveball every now and then. It's like, huh? me thinky brain no work. That's what I usually think. Yes. I think uh, everyone, especially, and we, we talked about this on the Rocket Review, everyone over the past year, has developed some kind of problem in some way because you cannot go through a global pandemic and be just perfectly fine. Uh, I know I'm not, but then again, I came into the pan the pandemic issue with problems and it just kind of reinforced them, like the not going places, the not wanting to be around people, uh, fear of being around crowds, the noise. Noise isn't technically a problem right now, but crowds, public places, in general, though, that, that has always bothered me. So, yeah. Oh, I got that song stuck in my head. Wheels, welcome. Yeah. I mean, I found it funny that suddenly, as soon as I, well, it was before, actually, 39 was pretty good. 2019 was good to me. 2020 was not. <laughs> so far, 2021. Mm. I'm definitely in a crew. It's funny how many whiskey tube people slash, I guess, viewers as well are not extremely social in public. I mean, I know um, Whiskey Central has said a couple times that she's a bit of an introvert. You wouldn't know it by watching her streams. She seems very, very easy to deal with in general. Yes. Yes, yes. That's why I do it. I mean, that's why I have to host my own streams, and that's why I'm always afraid to say anything on other people's streams, because people react differently to it. And as I said earlier, I just blame society for the, for the reason that something as simple as a broken bone, like you break your arm, people are going to ask you about it. Uh, you talk about saying you have a mental health problem or anxiety or depression. People are like, oh, well, what if you have some ice cream? That might cheer you up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Granted, yeah, I like ice cream. But when you are critically depressed, it doesn't matter what you do. You're just feeling that way. And there's very little you can do about it other than uh, medication, unfortunately. I have only recently gotten medication that tends to work for me. And it took about mm, 10 years to figure that out. So yeah, from the age of 30 to 40, I couldn't get any medication that worked properly. That is where our mental health issue is today. <laughs> because it's a crapshoot. Like they just throw medication at you and say, well, let's see if this works. See if it works. Probably won't. I mean, most importantly, the problem I had was anything that, you know, couldn't drink alcohol. I wasn't interested. Extrovert. Well, there you go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I would agree. I mean, I was doing online internet chat stuff long before I got into the YouTube world. And I probably before YouTube kind of embraced it a little more. 
I know it seems like not many years ago you wouldn't bump into this kind of thing as much. But then, you know, Twitch started doing stuff, and it just became more and more of a common thing. It still is. I like to think that this is the new form of entertainment because it meshes uh, reality TV with personalities of sorts. I mean, I don't want to consider myself a personality but uh, or an influencer or anything like that, but that would, that's probably the label someone else would throw on this. Is this kind of where we're having a conversation with a bunch of people and a little discussion. We're enjoying each other's company, but we're not, you know, it, it would feel really different to me if there were 10 people in my presence listening to me talk instead of being at my own little corner chit-chatting with this camera. <laughs> Although I do have the microphone as well. So the, the microphone is listening. Yes. That did it. My depression and anxiety is gone. Thank you, ice cream. I should have known. Yeah. Yeah, well, the problem is they're telling me, they're thinking about giving me other medications for my other problems. So we'll see. And I have gained a few pounds after starting this medication, which I'm fairly certain has to do with the fact that I just eat more, where when I was critically depressed, it was, I would eat maybe once or twice a day and I'd be unconscious for the rest. So yay. Now, now at least I'm up and about and doing things. That's a little nicer. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, it, it would be a very different feeling. Like, I've done the theater, so I have this part of my brain that's okay with performing, like being on a stage and, you know, reciting what you have to do, because that, as funny as it sounds, like most people would fe feel anxiety from being on stage and doing theater, where in my mind, it's a performance, so it's not really me, and everything is labeled. Like, I, I would go up there, I would stand in a certain spot, I would say a certain thing, I would do a certain thing with my arms and hands and such. So it's all it's all very organized and very kind of do you know go from here to here to here to here, not thinking about the crowd too much. Excuse me, but other people, the idea of being on a stage or giving a speech or something, like a speech, I feel a little different about. People would be very intently listening to what I was saying, and not necessarily would I have a script or anything. I might have a you know a little thing on a piece of paper in front of me, but. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers, you know, that kind of thing. Whoa. Yeah, and I, here's the other thing. I often, I'm well aware that depression and alcohol can intersect. And I want that to be something that is mentioned and talked about. And that can be brought around to it being a positive thing rather than it being a negative thing. Because in my case... Once I started getting into whiskey, I was more interested in things. And in general, it gave me that sense of, well, what else is there and what else can I try? That kind of mentality. Whereas it used to be just, oh, another day. Now it's one of those, oh, you know, I have a new whiskey to try or a new sample to try or a new stream I can do. I can do something different or just something simple like this is. Uh oh, there's trouble. Hi, mom. Hi, impromptu stream. No, oh, no nonsense. Whoops. Yes, uh, I did do a review on Sexton yesterday, so it's on my channel if you want to watch it. But I don't want to. I don't want to bias you. I actually liked it. It was surprisingly good. And uh, yeah, the only problem I have with it is the the bottle. I like the bottle. It looks good, but you can see, you know, like imagine trying to pour out of this thing. It's just, you know, where do you hold it? I, I figured hold from the bottom and pour like that, but it's good. I like pretty much what I was saying. Ooh. Who's streaming today? Uh, that I know of offhand is Mash and Drum who does his weekly thing, except he's got Whiskey Crusaders on tonight. And... No, the mash bill. He's doing something later this evening. So I hear. But 
Okay, there you go. No bias. Good, good, good. That's that's the one thing I don't want to do to other whiskey tuber things. <laughs> Funny enough, that's why I don't watch a lot of other people's stuff too much because I don't want if I'm going to review something and I know it, I can't watch the video. I have to be impartial and experience it my own way without having an influence. Although back in the day when I first started sampling whiskey stuff and before it was actually even a remote possibility that I would actually do this as a streaming thing and a video thing, like the the first few videos I did, the first 50, we'll say, videos I did, it was just, I would watch, I would watch Daniel Winnington on Whiskey Vault do one of the um, whiskey calendar things. So I would buy the whiskey advent calendar, and he would also have the whiskey advent calendar. And I would watch his video before I did mine, because I felt I needed that input. I needed some kind of reference point to start with. And then I would actually see if I could figure that out as well. Oh, yes. And the Sexton has female a female distiller as the, the head distiller, I think. Found that out recently. It's awesome. Yes. Mash and Drum is at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time anyway. I think it's 8 p.m. for him, but, you know, time... Time is a hard thing for me to keep track of. Nice. I hope you're all right. Physical therapy is interesting stuff. I've never had to do it, but I imagine it's a little uncomfortable. Although I have done... The closest thing to physical therapy I've ever done is stretching after a workout. And that was where someone was actually like bending and stretching my legs and stuff. Not necessarily my arms. Yes. Mash Bill's going live right after. Uh, drum, man, wait. Too many different YouTubers. I say the Mash Bill and then I stumble over Mash and Drum. There we go. So Mash and Drum, then the Mash Bill. Blah. Blah. That sounds painful. I hope it's going well. Oh, there you go. That's something I should have done, actually. Gone out and gotten a shepherd's pie, but I didn't think about it. Because usually the thing that comes up with this holiday is the freaking corned beef and cabbage thing. Rotator cuff. Is that like here? I'm not even sure where that is. Yes, it is. I imagine you'll be fast asleep by then. The fact that you're even here now is great, but part of the reason I do streams at 6 p.m. my time is for the hope, the vague hope that people on the other side of the pond can show up. Like I know um, once or twice Roy has shown up, which is nice. You know, I never expect it, but it's always nice to see him. I feel like I've missed a few of his streams the past few weeks. I think I watched last week, but ooh, that was last week. My brain no work is so good, so... Am I live? I don't know how to do that. Ooh. Well, I didn't see it, Mash Bill. You can get in touch, like, uh, message me through Instagram, because anything else I will not see at the moment. And I can get back to you once the stream is done. We'll let you know. I did not. I know he did, what, an eight-hour stream almost today? And I actually thought of him on... Today's Whiskey Vault, because they mentioned Legos <laughs> for like a second. And I was like, oh, Scotch Down Under messes with Legos all the time. Yeah, he does go a little, well, I imagine he goes late for his time. But he starts at 4.45 p.m. my time, which is almost 6 p.m. But yeah, that's also during, well, you're here. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, they do run a little long occasionally. Occasionally. And I'm always surprised to see him stop by when he does. I think he stopped by a couple times. I know I've talked to him directly once or twice. And I, he's very easy to get a hold of on Twitter. I've talked to him on Twitter a few times. Yeah, I can show you while you're here. I've been fortunate enough to get 
this, which I don't know if you've ever heard of, Kill Karen's 16 year old from Aquavite. And one other. Ugh, my voice. Ugh. That. Patreon celebration split. North Star Spica 40 year. So it's as old as I am, which is weird. Hand delivered. I did see the message when I got back to Dad. So we'll see. I don't know if you guys want to stop by later or not. Or tomorrow, whatever you want. I know you had stuff to do today. Keep me posted about tomorrow. I hope you're going to feel fine. I just don't want any surprises, especially after tonight being what it might be. I don't plan on getting inebriated, but... Ugh. Blah. That'll happen. I think Donatus is where Roy is, or at least around that area. I could be wrong. I'm really bad with remembering things, after all. So, uh. Wait and find out. Yes, UK. That's what I thought. Exactly where in the UK? I wasn't sure. Yeah, we're trying this mix of red breast calf strength and red breast 12. It smells lovely. Oh, it smells really good. Said a lot. Yeah, if you want to call that an island, it's huge. My parents live on an island. Connected by bridges, though, so it's okay. Oh, uh, someday I'll go to Scotland. Someday I'll go to freaking. Isla. Someday I'll go to Ireland. Someday I'll go to the UK. Maybe. I don't know. Things have gotten weird lately with the Brexit. 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 Things have gotten weird. I don't understand any of it. But it doesn't sound good. I could be wrong. Things, things have gone kind of wonky, I understand, over there. But then again, the past four years, the United States have been enlightening, we'll say. <laughs> I won't get into it, but yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> I thought the UK was big, and I went to Texas. I like that. I can only imagine what kind of shell shock that is, or not shell shock. Uh, what is word? Jet lag, you must have felt when you did that. That was for the Pastors Ball, like two years ago. Two years? 2018, maybe? 2017, if you went to the first one? We could have met at the 2018 if I had actually gone. My, my thought process was, oh, I can't afford to go right now at the 2018. We'll go next time. Or was it 2019? Time is starting to slip away. 2019 is the one I was thinking of going to and didn't. And it actually started in 2018, I think. Oh, I can't remember things. And then 2020. 2020 what? 2020 just nothing. <laughs> that year just disappeared. <laughs> Mash and using. I like that. I like that. What do you think, chat? Mash musings. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, 2019 was the one I wanted to go to, but didn't, thinking I could go next year. I did go to Texas that year. Like, my mother and I went in November of 2019, but I think the Bastards Ball was in October. I think. Or was it September? Anyway, I also met uh, Daniel and Rex for the first time in 2019, I think. Like earlier that year, they stopped by the New England area to go visit uh, Irene Pan and her new store. And I happened to go and I was fortunate enough to meet them there. Had lots of whiskey. It was a good time. 
it was kind of like a mini, I guess a mini bass through the ball sort of thing, except they weren't the focus of everything. Like no one there except me and a few other people knew who they were. <laughs> that and Irene, she knew who they were, but it was fun. It was a good time. I think they were probably a little more relaxed because they didn't have to be the hosts, I suppose is the way to put it. Like, I can't imagine that kind of thing, having to be in charge of a big event. No, thank you. I'm going to drink this now, but I also know I have had coffee. And have you ever, if you've had coffee, you know what coffee mouth is? Blech, it's not great. So I'm a little concerned. Oh, burning. <laughs> Coming out. So the cast drink shows up a little. <laughs> mm. That's good Irish whiskey. I was worried because part of me was like, well, what happens if you do re mix Redbreast 12 with Redbreast cast drink? And the answer is it becomes Redbreast cast drink still because it's Redbreast cast drink. Woo! But it's good. I like. <clears throat> I'm awake now. Coffee helped too, but wow. I'm actually, I certainly can't see from here, but I'm curious as to what the proof difference is between the cast drink I had, <clears throat> what, three years ago? Two, three years ago? And the one I have now. Because I have a, I'm guessing this one is higher proof than that one. But again, I can't be sure, and I can't see the tiny print from here. I don't feel like getting up, so do that. Meh. I still have this Tennessee whiskey song stuck in my head, if everyone's wondering. Smooth Tennessee whiskey. God. Could have any other song stuck in my head right now, but that one was fun. Yay. There's that in the old Danny Boy song kind of mulling in the back of my brain as well. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are coming. Uh. <clears throat> Trying to get the song out of my head. It's not working. Oh, yes. And if you're just showing up or you just got here recently, let me know what you're drinking and what you might be doing on today, since it is St. Patrick's Day. And we're having a drink, having a dram, as they say. I <laughs> and I still am debating what I'm going to drink next because I did pour a little more than I meant to with the red breast stuff, but red breast is glorious, and I haven't had any today. I've actually had I've had the sexton today. I've had red breast twelve now slash cast drink, and I've had what else did I pour? Jameson. I had Jameson first. That was the first Irish whiskey I had today because it's Jameson, and I had a little vial of it or nip or whatever you want to call it sample. I don't know what to call them other than nips. Tiny bottle of it. I want to get rid of it. Things to look forward to on Kilco Whiskey Musings. I have a large amount of Chattanooga stuff to go over. And I'm trying to decide. I know. Since I don't have Patreon, I don't officially have Patreon. I have one. But I never say anything about it because I can't give anything. I can't. Uh, there's no merch. There's no... I guess Patreon, you feel like you have to give or have something that people can buy. And since I don't have any income, really, can't do that. So what should I review next as far as weekly? Duh. Well, then you can certainly have a drink at the, uh, the Mash and Drum if you're there. All right, let's see. I'm going to grab some options. There's one. There's two. Oh, gosh. I forgot how many of these I have. There's three. These are mostly bourbon things. Oh, my gosh. I, oh God. I need more room. Hold on. Hold, please. This this is how inundated I am with whiskey right now that I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't even deal. But... All right. As far as bourbon goes, oops, stuff. Oh. 
true. So eventually I might talk about that more, but right now it's one of those, I guilt trip myself because I know, you know, it feels like other Patreon people, I guess you have to do something like either have a private live stream or like I could do that. That's probably the only thing I could do is have a Patreon only live stream. But other than that, I have no idea. Like people want t-shirts and glassware and stuff. My brain just is like, no, not going to happen. I don't want to. Or coins, uh, uh. So, you know, it just kicks my anxiety into high gear, pretty much. Can't find what? There's nothing to find. So here we go. I'm going to give options, and you guys can let me know what you would like to see next. Granted, I'm going to review them all, but it's just a matter of what would you like to see next week? I guess next week? What day is it? It's Wednesday. So my videos usually come out on Wednesday, and I do them one at a time. I've considered doing more than that, uh, and this was kind of a test run for my ability lately, is that I did uh, an Irish whiskey video Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and of course Wednesday of this week. I did it, but I was a bit burnt me out. Yes. I said I do have one, but good luck finding it. There is a way to find it, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. All right. First, we have Wheel Horse. Wheel Horse bourbon. This is 50.5%. I think, oh gosh, batch one. This is batch one. I don't know how that happened. But I've heard good things about this. The Mash Bill had this a little while ago. I remember seeing it on his stream. Hey, cheers. Whoa, all right. Cheers. <laughs> that just happened. Chat moved. All right, no nonsense. I'll, uh, I'll mull it over. Like, it would certainly be beneficial to me to have some kind of guaranteed income from, or not income, I guess it is income for me, but guaranteed support, probably the best way to put that, month to month. But people have been super generous here, and it still blows my mind every time I get money, because it's like, why? <laughs> why have, why are you people so nice? I don't understand. Our wheel horse? I'll just show them quickly. I got this one recently from uh, the Mash and Drum stream. I was fortunate. I won this. George Dickel Bottle and Bond. Uh, we have this one, which I'm curious about. Chattanooga. Which one is this? Chattanooga Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And this is the one I have like 10 samples of as well. This is the official bottle I want to try first before I do those. And then I have, I'm running out of hands. And then I have a classic. David, welcome. Welcome to the show. Ow. <clears throat> there we have Elijah Craig. Small batch, but this is a store pick. Single barrel select from a local, uh, bleh, local what? Liquor store that I go to all the time. David, yes, it is a tri-channel shirt. I figure I might as well wear it today, because if I don't wear it today, well, what am I doing? I did have an Irish shirt on earlier, and I had one in uh, the video I put out today that said Calabi's Irish Pub, because my last name might be Calabi. Surprise. And it said Calabi, not Calabi, not Kilave, nothing like that. Ow. Chattanooga. And yes. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. It is an embarrassment of riches right now. People donating money and sending me whiskey. I just don't know how to react to that because uh, the way my brain works, it's, it just seems like, some, how can this be? When good things happen, my brain immediately thinks something terrible is happening. Something terrible will happen now. Things are going too well. Something must go wrong. Ugh. And unfortunately, that proves right if anything does happen. All right, we have two, one for Chattanooga, one for Dickel. I'm curious. I've heard a lot of different things about Dickel. Uh, just saying the word Dickel is funny to me, so Dickel, Dickel. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and it's the bottle and bond, so of course, I, didn't care. I think I've had it, but I think it was just the regular kind, and I had it at a bar? No, I had it at a restaurant that had a bar. And I tried it, and it was kind of weird. 
I got that metallic-y tang kind of thing. I think that has something to do with... I don't want to say the alcohol, but there was something about it I didn't particularly like, but it wasn't terrible. It was nice. It was fine. But it wouldn't be something I would get again, I don't think, from a bar. Lies and slander. Lies. You see how that works? I'm able to make uh, make it funny in my head. But yes, I do have to appreciate the fact that people give me stuff, and they wouldn't do that if they didn't like what I'm doing. So I like to say my YouTube channel is sort of my mental health check, I guess. Like I, there, There's an extreme amount of criticism for everything I actually do or produce or create or get or receive, basically. So I have to kind of prove myself wrong. Like my mind will say, no one's going to like this video. And I'm like, well, I'll find out, won't I? And then if no, if, if people don't like it, oh, well, most people, it's always been so far that more people have liked the video than disliked the video. And that is always one thing I'll just hold against myself. It's like, well, you were wrong. More people liked the video than disliked it. And again, if they don't like it, I don't know. So it's fine. Oh my gosh. Abelero Centario? Centario. Sounds good, whatever it is. But Red Bridge 21, that's amazing. Have I had that? I have had that. That was some crazy whiskey. And yes, imposter syndrome. It's it's once people start thinking you're you're something, you're like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, I promise. I'm just a crazy person. I'm not crazy, clearly, but mental health problems, people often give you that label. Uh, not anyone has done that to me to my face, but I often do it to myself so I can cope with it, I suppose. Cope with my issues. Maybe. I mean, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Thankfully, so far, I seem to like most Islas to an extent, I like to say, but they are not my go-to. As you can tell... Like this upper area, let's not knock anything over. In the back here is mostly uh, peated Irish, peated Irish, peated Scotch, because it's not something I grab at very often. It's good, I like some of them, but it feels like more of a fight, and it's kind of distracting. And usually, when I want to sip whiskey, it's got to be something pleasant and nice, rather than something that's like, oh, Scotch. Nah. However, I do also like little things like this Connemara sitting over here. So you probably can see it's a little green, green, green right there. I really like Connemara, but it's also not one I go to very often. And I'm not sure when I can get another bottle, so I haven't drank all of it yet. Though, thinking about it, I should probably kill that bottle off some point because it's been empty. It's been almost empty for well over a year, probably almost two years now. Whoa. Yeah, that's the one thing. People people have opinions on the internet, and the funny part is that that I've learned through uh, Whiskey Vault and other channels that they tell me is if you get a like, good. If you get a dislike, good, because <laughs> all YouTube the YouTube overlords only care about the interaction. So as long as someone gives a like or a dislike or a comment, that's an interaction, and it pleases the YouTube overlords. They are pleased. But I always say, uh, you know, you can't please everyone, as my mother just said there. And I don't try to. Like, the only thing I'm doing here is trying to prove myself wrong, usually. That people are kind and generous and will like things you do. Not always like everything you do, but some stuff. Mm -hmm. Very important. That's something I, I finally came into terms with in, I think, 2019, is that people don't really care. Uh, just generally, like there, people are so intent on their own little lives and everything that's going on that they're not going to worry about you too much. But I still have weird, like social things. Like I often worry about the shirts I wear or the jeans I wear or something like that. Which shoes I wear? It's which hat I wear? Little things for no reason. Like no one will notice what I'm wearing. A part of me thinks they might. Like especially here, I know they will. Uh, you know, wearing a shirt and recording a video thing, doing a live stream. People will notice, but I don't let it bother me. 
And usually everyone who sees the shirts I'm wearing is like, oh, I like that shirt, as with earlier with the tri-channel thing. And this is just, you know, it's appropriate. Boop. Yeah. Uh, the, the I've been called uh, quirky once, which in a good way. Like uh, when I was on, I wasn't on, but I was watching. Oh, why does my brain always do this? I was watching Shelf Turds. And they saw that I was in chat and they said, hey, go subscribe to my channel. You know, he's quirky and funny and stuff. And I was like, I don't think I've ever been called quirky before, but they're not wrong. <laughs> my personality kind of bounces around due to my mental ADHD whiskey. ADHD, I said ADHD whiskey. ADHD problems. One of the things I've wanted to do someday is talk to ADHD whiskey about, you know, ADHD because I assume he has it as well. And you can kind of tell when you're watching his streams. He, he does the same thing I'm doing. He's kind of bouncing around. But he also is much better. Ah, he, mm, he enjoys whiskey. And he does a lot. And he's officially the world's top whiskey taster. So there's that. If nothing else, it's good to enjoy whiskey with him, I think. I keep thinking he's going to go on later tonight because I stream on Fridays. That's not the case tonight. But that's, uh, everything's different. Yeah. Uh, the Whiskey Vault slash Rex said once that if you're not getting dislikes, you're not getting your stuff. Ex you're not exposing new people to your stuff. It's that kind of thing. Like, there are people who are not going to like what you're doing. But that means there are plenty of other people who will like what you're doing. So you got to take them both, you know. And, be, you know, exposing your content to people who are not used to seeing it and might not like it. You know, thumbs down. That's fine. The interaction is all they want. And if something got only dislikes, then I'd be concerned. But hasn't happened so far. I've gotten one or two or three for stuff, but again, I don't even remember what it was, and I didn't let it phase me. I think the only thing that wouldn't bother me to some extent, and knock on wood, I suppose, is uh, like hateful, rude comments. That hasn't happened yet. I've got the only thing I've gotten that I had to deal with comment-wise is the random spam. Oh, those are interesting. I don't know why those show up. I don't. I don't understand them. It'll leave like a, a mark for 22 seconds into a, a video. And then it's like, follow this link. It won't be on, you know, just have a, a thing, a timestamp kind of thing, and then a link for this random sketchy web page. So I don't know why, but it's fine. Just get rid of it. And if I don't get rid of it, usually YouTube gets rid of it. So there's that. Uh oh, there's trouble. Oops, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, if it's all dislikes, I think I'm doing something wrong, but that has not happened yet. Speak of the devil. It's Anheuberger Boiler Lofa. I mean, the Rocket Review. Welcome. Again, that's the drunk language. Where you've had too much to drink and you start speaking like that. In tongues. We got two whiskey streamers in here. Or at least we did. I imagine no nonsense might have gone to bed. Three! Co-op. There's too many. And Mashville, four? It's just all whiskey streamers now, or whiskey tubers. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. But again, it just smells most. Well, honestly, it doesn't smell like the cast drink I had last night. And I don't know if that's because it's opened up a little, which it was like 20, less than 24 hours ago, unlikely. Or because I mixed uh, Redbreast 12 with it. Can't tell. Mm. Woof. That alcohol spiciness is apparent. It burns. It's good. I like. <clears throat> yeah. Again, dislikes are not a bad thing. You know, the occasional dislike or the random dislike is fine. But if every single person who watched the video just disliked it, that would be a different, kind of unexpected. 
And, I don't, and then I'd, I'd be questioning the YouTube algorithm right about there. It's like, what <laughs> the hell is going on? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Thankfully, uh, well, not thankfully, but I don't get a lot of comments on my videos. I get the occasional one. Oftentimes, my mother will comment because I ask uh, the audience, as it were, what, what do they think the, the whiskey color looks like. And my mom likes to respond, which is good because it helps give me an idea of what a non-whiskey drinker thinks. And my mother does not drink at all. Drink alcohol at all. She drinks water. Doesn't drink alcohol. It's nice to get opinions from others, but sometimes people really have certain opinions, which as with the peated stuff, there's some, there's some hardcore peat heads out there. I am not one of those. I will drink just about any type of whiskey, possibly any kind of alcohol, just to try it. But I have found so far, I seem to like whiskey the most. Yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I don't consider myself a whiskey tuber, but as far as the content I'm making, that seems to be the category I'm being chunked into. But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just making videos more for myself and also for others. And again, it's mostly a this is my first experience with this thing. I'm going to record it. I'm going to talk about it. And then I'm going to look up more information about it and see what else what else is out there. Get some extra info because unlike other channels that have two people or a husband and wife, girlfriend and boyfriend kind of thing, you don't have anyone to bounce stuff off of. So I'm just bouncing things off the internet mostly. And that's good because it's more like a, uh, what do I call it? What do I call it? It's like a crowdsourced kind of thing. Like the Whiskey Vault officially is early on, they were doing a lot of crowdsourcing stuff. They still do with Patreon and stuff, but that's the idea is I go to this website and they have numerous random people have put in their experience with the whiskey. And then I get kind of a general general idea of what others have said about it. But yeah, that's the thing. It's like, what else would you call yourself? Ooh. That guy who likes to drink whiskey and sometimes sing songs and sometimes play video games, that doesn't work as well, does it? So as far as the niche that I'm in, it's whiskey too. And I'm happy about that, certainly. Musing tuber. Yeah. Random guy on the internet doing things. That's how my brain interprets it. It's like, you don't know what you're doing. You're just doing stuff. But yeah, I guess it has to be whiskey tuber. Because those are the videos I make in particular, mostly about whiskey. I've seen like other other channels. It's like it's crazy because they invest into one thing, and I don't feel like I can do that. Like I certainly like whiskey, and I could pretty much make whiskey videos for the rest of my life in all likelihood, trying to try out all the whiskeys out there. But that seems unrealistic. But again, like people who make youtube videos about just one pc game or one video game or just that they you know they're singing that's i don't know how they do that i don't know how Whoa. yeah exactly i'm trying that's all i can do is keep trying and making content Santi, welcome charles charles Yeah, the idea for me is I'm, I'm doing mostly whiskey tube stuff and I'm just making stuff that I feel like making. You know, that's the main thing. It gives me some kind of focus and something to do. And as someone who hasn't worked in many, many years, it's nice to have something like that to focus on. Uh, I know in general, I'm not the type of person to have an easy time with scheduling. And that's mostly due to my, my mental health problems interfering with my sleeping pattern. And I think it's been that way my whole life, where I've never been good about a sleeping pattern, nor good about getting up early in the morning or things like that. It's forever. I could. 
I mean, whiskey two would love that or not whiskey. YouTube would love that going from the age of 40 to the age of whatever. And I'm just making content year after year about whiskey. If anything, there'd be a large, uh, large area of info for me, from me anyway. And that's kind of the idea for me anyway, is to have this, what do I call it? I don't want to call it a vault. That's the wrong thing. It's like my own personal journey. There we go. My own personal journey with whiskey is being documented in this way. Uh, and it's always, it always feels a little weird. Like there is part of me that thinks about, but even now I can go back to the videos I originally made with this channel, which had zero plan of ever being witnessed by anyone other than myself and see what I thought about stuff ages ago. And it, that was only what, three or four years ago. It feels like much longer, but I, I think it was, I was either 35 or 36 when I started actually recording stuff. And when I say recording stuff, I mean, I flipped on the camera, recorded whatever I was doing, just straight through and then stopped recording. And it was usually about less than 10 minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, maybe. Cool. You can see it for yourself. It's out there really far back. The Roop. Schwelkum. Slancha. 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 I hope I'm saying that right. It's Slancha, at least. That's the only word I'm worried about saying incorrectly. And I've heard other people say it that way, so I just said that's probably what it is. Irish people. Try channel people. If the people in Ireland are saying Slancha, or Slancha, or however you say it, I'm going to roll with that. I'm saying if an Irish person says it that way, I'm pretty sure they're saying it right, unless they're trolling me as an American somehow and making me say it incorrectly. Because if so, I've been saying it wrong at the end of my videos for a very long time. Unlikely. Who knows? I don't. Yum. That's good. And for those of you just showing up, this is a half and half, I will say, mix of Red Breast 12 calf strength and Red Breast 12. Surprisingly, it tastes like Red Breast 12 calf strength. <laughs> Big shock. But it's been a little, just a little toned down. Not enough to get past that high-proof whiskey, but it's it's enjoyable. Again, again, I just mixed something I really like with something I really like. Shocker, it's something I like. Yeah. Who knew? Oh, I got started. Yeah, that's what I figure. You get the idea. I know the whole thing is like Schlanchamava or something close to that, which I can't say properly. So I just say slancha, which I think just means health, I think. It's like saying aqua vitae or aqua aqua vitae, about water of life thing. Whiskey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I can imagine that as a cheers. Whiskey. That's it. Ah. Hamana hamana. It's good. I already know I'm going to do something stupid tonight. Like, I'm going to mix a number of Irish whiskeys together just to see what happens. I don't know why. <laughs> Comment delay, but I'll, I'll grab it when I see it. Folks will understand. Oh, that's a good job. I mean, if anything, you can watch it live. Not live. You can watch the replay. <laughs> and there's plenty of other whiskey things going on tonight. Other than this. Other than uh, Ed and his uh, rocket review. Which I was on. So you'll have to see my face twice. Sorry. And then Mash and Drum. And then the Mash Bill. I think that's everything for the moment. Oh, my brain. I mean, I did start my day with a, a cold brew and I added some Baileys. So I can't say I've been drinking all day, but I've been drinking since about noonish. No, 1 p.m., I think. Right before you went live, I was like, oh, 
I guess I should. I had. I grabbed that Guinness. That was the first thing I had today. Other than the cold brew with little Bailey's, and that doesn't count because only very little Bailey's, and Bailey's doesn't count technically. It does, but it doesn't. I would wonder. Oh, I'd probably feel sick before I actually got to the point of being inebriated. How much Bailey's would you have to drink to get inebriated? And that feels like a whole bottle kind of thing because that's, that's not not high proof. Yeah, having a crack is they say in old Dublin. Oh, Ireland, how I miss my homeland. I've never been to Ireland. But as I said on the stream, Rocket Review earlier, uh, I have Irish descent uh, from like County Cork or County Dublin or where was the other one? I want to say Mop, but that's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that, that, yes, you would. It's great to put in coffee. And again, this is, this is the only time I ever buy Bailey's is this, this day on this year, I buy some and then I forget I have it usually, but I am going to try to keep on it. I actually have to buy more coffee, which I'll do tomorrow, Friday, maybe Friday, maybe tomorrow. I actually go to a local coffee shop, so it's not like I can just go to the grocery store and buy it. Although I'm fairly certain they do sell, they do have it on the shelf at a local grocery store, but it's so much better to just go to the local cafe and have them grind it right there, beans and all, and then give it to you rather than going to get the package at the grocery store. I think that's one of those directly supporting the, the business deals. I'd rather buy it at the cafe that makes the coffee than indirectly through the grocery store that they have it at. I'm reading chat in a delay. Hello, mom. Why arg? Why arg? Arg. Oh. Yeah, rumor has it. One thing you could do, Rock Rot, is uh, I know Mashable is going live at some point later tonight. I think that's, it might be 11 p.m. my time, which I'm not sure. There's a whole bunch of streams going on later tonight. Like I said, there's Mash and Drum, Rock Cup might go on, Mash Bill supposedly is going on as well later this evening. So many streams, so little time. Do you even coffee, bro? God, I had egg grinder and it's crap. I don't even know what kind it is. And I used to get whole beans, but the grinder I had was bad. So I don't do that. I figure I, they have a big old ginormous industrial grinder there that grinds it the way it's supposed to be ground. So, And again, I buy a quarter pound. That lasts me probably two weeks. I don't worry about it too much. I do have a, a pour over coffee majigger. If I want to get fancy about talking about my coffee, it's called the manual coffee maker. I've talked about it a few times on here. And it's literally just pour it over. Ow. Kilkerran? My last name is Kalevi. It begins with kill. Not a hard, not a far guess there. I can tell you exactly the ones that 23andMe was telling me again. Helps to say it on my own stream. Saying it on another stream. That's an option. I mean, if I put the link here, I think that's the thing. I've never really tried it. Like, I know it's an option that I can actually send out a link to people or post it in chat, chat, post it in chat, and people can join. I haven't tried it. The only time I've done that is if other people do it. <laughs> Like on, on Rocket Stream, I joined via that. And I've done it on Whiskey Crusaders. I think I've done it for who else? Hang on, there's a couple others. I did it with Eric Waite early on. We're talking, what, the beginning of 2020? And who else? I know it's in there. Hold on. Bourbon Bites. I was on his stream for the new year, which was a nice change of pace. 
where I got to celebrate New Year's with online folks having whiskey. HBR, that's right. Hot burger rolls. Duh. That was a lot of fun, actually. Because that was just that was just both of us. Well, both of us, all three of us, I should say. I always forget there's two people at that jail. And that was a lovely time. I enjoyed myself. It was it was funny at times when you know their camera cut out. It was hilarious. So I've done I've done I've been on a guest in other streamers more than I thought. Just surprising. I tend to forget, you know, because once I do a stream, my brain just stops. Doesn't remember it. It's like, oh, I went on a stream. When? I don't know. <laughs> Recently? Not long ago. I don't remember. All right, let's see here. Again, my ancestry, ancestry, ancestry is 99.7% British and Irish. If you couldn't tell from my fair skin and uh, freckles, you now know. In the official places that we talked about on Edstream, where, where was it? I'm showing it to me correctly. No. Stop. There we go. It says County Galway, County Dublin, and County Mayo. Mayo? Mayo? It's spelled M-A-Y-O. But also County Cork is number four. So there you go. Why is that one there? But it's got 10 here. So it's County, and this is, again, a generalization. Galway, Dublin, Mayo, Cork, Kerry, Carvin, Leithram, Tipperay, Limerick, and Wexford. Do I know where any of those places are? No. Do I know they're in Ireland? Yes. So my lineage could come from any of those places. It seems to be a bit brighter on places like, uh, where is this? Galway. Oh, I can actually zoom in. That's cool. Galway, Dublin. Yeah, those are the ones that are highlighted. Galway, Dublin, and Mayo. Those are the three that's like, and these are the most likely. But again, that's like east east and west coast of Ireland. It, <laughs> ah, doesn't clarify anything. Apparently, I'm not from the middle. That's good to know, I guess. I don't know. Probably not, actually. Like, when people do long streams, I get nervous. Because there's that feeling that you need to participate for a long time. And, whoa. <laughs> I can do maybe two hours most of the time. Like even tonight, I'm stretching it. I really am. Because I was on Ed's channel for probably an hour and a half, two hours, maybe. I'm not really sure. And then I'm doing this one, which is another two hours. So at some point, my body is just going to be like, you've been socializing too much today. <laughs> and I will pretty much just pass out in bed. Like actually just from, from myself being myself and not from alcohol, thankfully. I did? I'll take your word for it. Again, once I'm on a stream, I totally forget. I really do. My brain blanks out. My brain don't work so good. But I can always go back and check. Like, I can watch the live stream. And be like, oh, yeah, that was me. But as I said earlier, anytime I'm on someone else's live stream, it's highly likely I will not rewatch that because I don't like watching myself do stuff. Uh, even editing my own content feels a bit, oh, <laughs> I have to do it, but there's that moment of, oh, I get to analyze what I'm doing. That's healthy. That's good for my brain, and uh, critiquing myself is really <laughs> not the best idea. But I make the content, so I imagine I get through it okay. And again, it's one of those moments where I make this thing, and I produce it to the world, and people will like it or dislike it. And that's fine with me, you know. I don't, I don't let myself worry about it too much. And oftentimes, the whole point is that people do tend to like it, and people do participate and hang out. Like this stream in general, I, I started this stream. I decided to do it at about five p.m., <laughs> so that's like an hour before it actually went live. And yeah, I didn't expect anyone to be here, but here we are. There's at least ten people in chat, and it is astounding. Plus. A bunch of other whiskey tubers have stopped by, which is always glorious. Glorious, <clears throat> as I say. Mm, red breast is good.
I still have so much whiskey to go through. Irish whiskey, that is. Huh. Twenty minutes left, like then you're done drinking, or twenty minutes until you can actually go drink. Well, I've got fifteen minutes. <laughs> I like to cap out at two hours. As uh, what was it? I think Whiskey Crusaders said it on Monday that you have to. You don't have to, but you want to give yourself a certain time frame so people can watch slash listen to what you're doing. And I feel like if I start going past two hours, one, I'm bur I'm burnt out by then. And two, it's a little harder to make it something people will actually want to watch and listen to if it gets much longer than that. It's good for if actually, like longer streams are more good, more good, better if there's a lot of participation and you can stay distracted or at least uh, talk to yourself most of the time, which I do anyway. But long streams would burn me out. I couldn't do it. And people couldn't, would have trouble rewatching it. But that's just me. Like, again, I have about two hours of energy that I can put into something, and then my brain goes, okay, now you're done. You need to stop. You need to stop now. You need to lie down or have some water, make some food, whatever. Long streams and me do not do not agree with each other very well. I think the longest one I've done recently was when I was on Hot Butter Rolls, and they went for quite a while. I think it was, I think I was on there for over two hours. It was probably close to three. But I'm not sure. And I know they went for longer than that. So it was probably about one or two in the morning when I decided to bounce. Uh, probably That also probably had to do with my bladder. Because it's one of those things. It's like the body, after drinking a lot of whiskey and water, you know, nature calls. And you don't want to just, like, I don't want to get up and move away from this, you know, camera and just have you staring at the background. That feels weird. People don't want to do that when you're doing a live stream. I've done it a couple times. But usually I feel bad. Ah, there you go. All right. That's what I, that's what I think. Oh, I wasn't sure what you meant. That's what I should say. So about 15 minutes at the end of the day, you go into, you're in the future. That's right. You're living in the future. What's it like? Tell me so I can win the lottery. No, that's not how it works. I wish it was. Ooh. Song stuck in my head. And that's what is that? What song is that? Is that Mo Mozart, Beethoven, something like that. It's a piano, I think. Ugh. I swear, there's a radio in my head somehow that just picks up random songs and just broadcasts them in my brain, so I get distracted. Granted, I'm always distracted, so there's that. Mm. There's one thing I've been thinking about, not too much, but it's it's a peculiar thought I've noticed. It's that freaking, why is it in America anyway, that the way to imbibe hardened spirits was the worst way to imbibe hard spirits? How did that happen? Like when did drinking hard spirits become a shot? And my only explanation is because of how sketchy hard liquor was at the start, that you didn't really want to taste it. You just wanted to drink it as fast as possible. So you just slug it. But for whatever reason, that has changed clearly over the years. And now we get to enjoy it carefully, well, not carefully, but slowly and patiently, rather than just taking a swig of, uh, well, taking a shot of whiskey, because that is unpleasant. That sounds about right. Good lease. I'm going to put that in Spotify so I can add it to my list and listen to it later. Oh, there you go. We're in the same day. It just ends faster. That sounds about right. Yeah, I got... So it'll be 8 p.m. when yours will turn to midnight. Let's see if I can actually find this. Third lease. Your your least for least, Fallerby, and that's not an Irish song, so I don't know why that popped in my head, but whatever, whatever. 
I was listening to the Division music recently, it seems. Division 2, I should say. Well, that's not it. Swan Lake? Mom says Swan Lake. He was from the Swan Lake. For at least few fur. I thought it was F-U-R. Couldn't remember. And then something like that happens. I had Fjord Lees, Fjord Lees stuck in my head. It's Be Beethoven. Okay, at least I knew that, sort of. And suddenly, out of left field, Eglin time, Eglin time. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 See how many of you know the Eglantine song? That's ancient, kind of. Yeah, what was that from? Okay, I remember now. If, if you want an assist, it's from Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, I think. It feels about right, and I'm not sure. Whoa. Yes, you have a few parties. Welcome, Sugar Kitty. When did you get in here? Welcome. I wonder if that's copyrighted. I assume it isn't because Beethoven, but you never know with you two. We could hear something familiar. It's like, whoa, hey, Don. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, what are you doing? Stop that. Knock it off. Oh, I'm looking up music. Oh, gosh. Eglantine. Eglantine? That's not right. What is that? I typed in Eglantine, and it was like, no, that's not right. That's from something else. You are not quiet. I mean, sometimes you're quiet, but I've, I've seen your name in numerous streams, so welcome. Glad you're here. Always nice to see familiar names, you know? Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, so Eglantine, E-G-L-A-N-T-I-N-E. Well, that was going to bother me. And that's with Angela Lansbury. Angela Lansbury? God, hold on. Yes, God, oh, God, that's annoying. Welcome to my brain, where I think I know something, and then immediately I'm followed by, do you know something? And That's how my mind works. Ugh. The self-doubt is real. But yeah, Angela Lansbury's and uh, what's the name of the guy who sang the song? I know he's long gone, but he did a wonderful job. He had a pretty sweet mustache too, not not quite like mine, but and he had a hat, it was like a bowler hat. It was pretty sweet. Bed knobs and broomsticks. If you never watched it, give it a watch someday because it is it was amazing for its time. Is a nice way to say it because it was. Uh, Early cartoon animation interacting with real human beings stuff. Way before Roger Rabbit. Way before. Also, Roger Rabbit's an amazing film. Oh, man, we're rolling down to the last few minutes here. How did that happen? I feel like I just got here. As strange as this is going to sound. Mom, are you stopping by later with Dow? Just so I know. I assume you aren't, but if you are, let me know. My dad wants to have some Irish whiskey. Big surprise. He Again, he has a backlog. My father has a backlog of whiskey to have because... <laughs> I reviewed so many whiskeys over the past, what, three months? Two months? Three, four months? Three months. I'll say I started really reviewing stuff in, on, on any kind of schedule in January, I think. And there were one or two, no, it was one, one, two, one, one video I did that had no whiskey at all. That was just the, what the heck is bottled and bonding, I think. And though I made a whole video on it, I've kind of already forgotten what it means. Four years, single distiller, single in a time frame, season, what are the words there? I'm finding out as of recently that whiskey has certain times it gets released. That's why they have those weird numbers on them. Wow. 
Roddy McDowell. I got to figure out who Roddy McDowell is because if he was in there, I don't remember which one he was. Stilling season, yes. So it's the season. It's just the stilling season, which is slightly different from regular season. Thing that stands out in my mind was uh, what is it? Jaguna Makora Sagora Sabora Makora Satis D, something like that. Her little spell when she brought that whole army to life. That was amazing. I'm looking at Raga Mittel, but I don't know who he is. Oh. His face looks vaguely familiar, but I'm not sure why. No, no. G That's a lot of filmography, though. He's been in quite a few things from a long time ago. Good grief. I'll look at that later. Otherwise, I'll be very distracted for the last few minutes here, and that's not good when you're doing a live stream. Okay. Let me know. Dad mentioned it, but I didn't know when you were going to do it. Today or tomorrow, up to you. Text me, message me, let me know. July, December for fall? That feels weird. But whatever. Again, it's uh, distillery season, so they can be whatever they want. They can be one per month, for all I know. Ah, character actor in a lot of movies. Cool. I'm curious. I'll look into that now. I always like to find out more about actors. One of the things I've been doing a lot lately is watch, since I've been watching a lot of Star Trek, if you weren't familiar, I like Star Trek a lot. Uh, I've been, you know, I've been rewatching a lot of episodes and then there are a lot of characters uh, of that nature that show up on those films. So I end up looking up their names, but then it's like, oh yeah, they, they've been dead for years. That feels kind of weird. The, the way I look at it, it's, uh, you know, you're watching an old movie, you're watching a film. Or you're watching a TV show and one of the actors is gone. You're pretty much watching ghosts. It's like, oh. <laughs> but all amazing characters are always appreciated in one way or another. Oh, I've got two minutes left. No pressure. Legal definition. Okay. Legal definition. Yeah. Distilleries are all about laws, or at least for bottle and bond specifically. They're very. There's a lot of technicalities for him to be called that way. We do that. What was that? My uh, my little curtain here sometimes likes to fall down. I'm just waiting for the day when I'm just doing a stream and it just crashes to the to the ground here. I actually had to move some samples because of that. I used to have some samples right here along the ledge, and now no, if that thing comes down and rolls down and knocks them off and breaks them, I would be very upset. We can't have that. All right. Whoa, last minute. <laughs> last minute. Uh, the mash room is going on later tonight with Whiskey Crusaders. Uh, the mash bill is going live. The Rocket Review might go live. There's a lot of live stuff going on tonight. You'll have plenty of places to watch Whiskey too. Howdy, Mike. Cheers to you. We're just closing up, but you can watch this on the replay eventually if you want. And I will be going live, again, this was impromptu, but I'll be going live Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and Sunday at Eastern uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time as well, if you would like to come back here. Remember, Kilco runs on your support, and this is why this goes there. I pinned the thing. If you want to donate, let me know. Uh, what am I forgetting? Oh, yeah. YouTube overlords, demand your subscriptions and your thumbs. So do that if you feel like. If not, that's cool, too. Do what you want. Live your life. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. We're rolling into the few seconds here. It's been a pleasure spending the day, or part of the day, with all of you. I hope you had a good time. Oh, and as always, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And of course, plancha. So you and yours. Bye-bye.